Hi everyone, so uh, I've been getting a few messages from uh, one or two of you asking me what the best way to match uh, the colours are or how to identify the values and this is a really quick and easy and probably the most effective way that I know and all you're going to need is a piece of white paper and a blade and all you're going to do is you're going to cut out a tiny little square on the piece of paper now it doesn't matter whether it's a white piece of paper I also sometimes use a grey piece of paper like that or you can even use or buy one of these little plain credit cards put a hole punch straight through it either way it's all the same because you're isolating a certain area and what you're going to do is you basically pick your area lay the uh, the card or the paper over it and now you can see a tiny little section of colour I then have a test strip and you can see there where I've been trying to match other colours on this and basically all you do is you find the colour that you're looking for and obviously you'll draw it like this onto the uh, onto the paper and then all you're going to do is slide it straight underneath and what you're aiming to do is get half and half in the view window and what you're looking for is something like that you should now have half of your reference and your half of your pencil that's on your test strip and there you can see that we've got a damn good match of colour the value looks good to me and it doesn't matter where you go on this image you know trying to match up colours if you're trying to match up this one this is obviously something I've done a little bit earlier and we're going to land that straight over the top and again you can see half the reference half of my pencil and again that's another really cool way uh, of matching the value uh, and the colour and I'll continue something like this throughout the whole picture before we even started once I'm happy with the colours that I've matched up you can see where I've started to number them so I don't forget and then I'll put these pencils somewhere to one side where I can pick them up and use them again. So I hope that's a really useful tip. Let me know how you get on, leave your comments below and um, yeah, it'd be great to know your, uh, your feedback.